today not 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 sunny in 75 surely it's gloomy in 72 but not sunny in 75 that's all right all right so today i was gonna do we're gonna talk cicadas so it's kind of becoming it's almost cicada time it's gonna be wild when cicada time is here it's gonna be wild it's gonna be the wildest time i've i've seen with cicadas but um kind of had a rough rough week uh, for the family so got some more news today um, Babs Babs's grandma from California that we went out to help out uh, she unfortunately passed last week uh, we found out on Friday um, it, it's it's for the better um, she's she was in a tough spot just she her health had gone downhill and just she's not suffering anymore which is good um, it, it's, it stinks to lose a grandparent because grandparents are so fun, right? Like grandparents are always our, our escape and just, I don't know. It's just, when you go to grandma's house, it's like, there are no rules, right? I mean, it's a little different with, with Tracy's grandma. We didn't see her as much as some of the other grandparents. Um, but she, still she was, she was involved with the kids and, and everything. So it, it hurts. It, it stinks. It stinks, you know, she's gonna be missed. Um, and then this morning, uh, we get a call that Aunt's, Aunt's dad had passed away. Um, so RL, Papa, you know, he wasn't, wasn't Babs' grandpa by any means, but sure was involved with her life in all, all kinds of ways. And definitely was involved with all the family activities and just a presence in everyone's life. and getting that news just man the guys he's had heart surgeries he's you know fallen down hurt himself he got covid like and these he's the last you think if he got covid like you're like oh man like well the way we've heard these things like he's a goner for sure nope he beat it like the, it, he's fought through everything you know and just oh, man it hurts it sucks because he was a great man fence builder had a fence company always just put family first um really admirable guy uh as far as a family man and just hard work and putting family first and making sure he, you know he was doing right right by everybody else and doing the right thing for everybody else so just been a little little rough on the family here those last few days um but i'm gonna put the cicada video together um i just I've got a bunch of stuff I want to gather and make sure I'm, I'm saying it right and talking about it right because I gotta love the people. I got people on here, oh yeah, like some some teacher in Maribel. She's like, I used to like your videos. Now I, I don't watch them because you spread false information. I was like, okay, cool. What am I spreading? What did I say that was false? Please let me know. I'd like to go back and correct it. Um, she goes back and forth. <laughs> and the last comment that I had with her was, well, I never said you spread false information. You just, they weren't totally like correct or whatever. So I like to try to do my homework as best I can to make sure I am passing along what info I know and what I've learned. And it's not always going to be right. I understand that, but uh, I try to do my best to make sure it is. So, um, so I got to do a little bit in the garden right now, but just not feeling the cicada video right now, but we will get that done. I promise. Um, we got some spice coming in this week. I don't know. We got a we got a little adventure to go on tomorrow. Spicy week though. Spicy week on deck. So we'll see what happens. But uh, that's it from East Tennessee right now, y'all. Hope y'all are well. Take care of yourselves.